Hello guys and welcome back, welcome back. In the previous episode we built this uh, cargo hub thingy that you see in the background here. Uh, for the time being it's only dealing with oil and shipping oil to sending our capital and yeah I think that's the only town that gets it for now. But uh, yes for sending is at three cities uh, merged into one for the time being so yeah, three cities are being fed by this uh, hub uh, right now. Uh, I think uh, sending will expand more in the future as well. So it will be more busy and we'll also add planes here. And uh, yeah, I want this to be a large hub for this part of the map at least. So if not the whole map, but we'll see, we'll see. Now from now on, I'm going to post one episode of this series per week on Fridays. That is because uh, I have a lot to do at work uh, right now and with the situation around the world things are busier than ever. Unlike most gamers it seems I'm not at home all day. So yeah I'm, I'm thankful to have somewhere to go and to have a job uh, but yeah it leaves me with less time to do videos than was ideal. So in order to be able to make other videos as well for the channel like the Atlantis film that I released uh, last week I have to stay, stick to one episode per week so I hope you understand that. So yeah uh, enough talk let's just jump right to it. So the cargo hub is busy that is good. Yeah our town is growing starting to become quite big. Uh, yeah coolio all right, for today's episode, I want to kind of continue this passenger line. So we're gonna make a turn here and go to Hayward's Hay Heath. That is the plan for that. And, and I want to uh, kind of work on this uh, countryside here because, yeah, it's missing something. But we'll get to that. But first, I think, yeah, I, we have lumber here, so I'm just going to try to add a stop here. Yeah, just there for the time being. And I want to drop off some lumber here because, yeah, we're not making enough steel yet at least. So if this train could bring some lumber here, this one, which comes all the way from over there, can bring some lumber back and that way make a pretty penny both ways. Wouldn't that be good? Oh, and look, we have a drag race. Ooh, come on. Oh, that's the slower, slower ones. These ones can do 80. Yeah, I need to upgrade this. As a matter of fact, let's just do that right away. Steam. We got these as well. They do uh, they both to 100, but the wagons to 80. This one is a bit weaker. <clears throat> Not much though, but yeah. I think we want these. It's quite a long way. So like so, and... 29. But how much is that? 203. We can carry 12 now with the new ones. Let's see how much it picks up. Yeah, full load. So let's add. I think we can get away with 216. Yeah. Or like that. Yeah, let's do that because it will be faster. So we might not need to be able to carry that much. How is it coping with the hill? Mm, not good, not good. But I think we'll leave it as, as that for the time being, just because we have way too much lumber here as it is. Whoa, 1400, almost 1500, and 14. 
Steel. Yeah, we don't need to deliver lumber with haste. Just put it that way. Uh, yeah, let's buy trucks for the lumber. Let's go with the fastest ones. Yeah, these. Let's have these. Ten of those. I don't want to overdo it. It's just extra, just to make some more money. So, ten will do. I think. Yeah, and another thing I want to do is move Heartland down to the coast. I want it to kind of... I want this to be part of the city, not kind of separate like it is now. Yeah, look at this. Looking good. comes our delivery. How is this doing? Um, we got a lot of grain waiting here. Oh, I wanted to do this. Yeah, that's better. It's empty. Okay. I think we want a new loco on these as well. They're not dealing with the amount here. These have the old wagons as well, so let's add. Yeah, let's add these. Loco first. Which one is this? Russian class OB. This one? Yeah. We need something more powerful here. Let's try with the Atlantic, just because. To have variation. And how much can they carry now? 112, 42. So we'll bump it up to 144 and... We'll add... Let's have this one, because it looks like it has a cooler thing here or something. I, I don't think it's a air condition or a cooler box thingy. I just, just reminds me of that. Which again reminds me of food, so yeah. There we go, those are replaced. Alright, cool. Now let's see how it does. Power rating was poor. Oh. Well, let's check in the on the hill of doom here. Yeah, let's check this one. Onwards. Not great, is it? It looks great, though. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But, yeah. Let's use the power more powerful loco. So now it's mediocre. That's good enough for me. We have 82 bread here. Let's see if we can change, or maybe we should just change the, because this one can now only carry 8, but we have ones that can carry 12. Yeah, we're gonna change it again. 10 of those capacity, and we'll have 3 of those, and 3 of those. So now it kind of look, looks like these are for food and these are for tools or machines, so yeah. Makes sense. And yeah, different wagons. Looks cool. Let's see if it fits the station. Ah, almost. Almost. So, no machines being brought. Why is that? Is there something wrong with the line? Can these wagons carry machines? Yes. Yes, they can. These can. They cannot. Why? Why, oh why? But... 
Yeah, why can't can't they carry machines? Let's have these then. They can carry machines. Go go. And we got the post bu post bus. Post bus. These are not carrying lumber. Why? Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? No. Go back. Go back. All right, so uh, we got a house here for the old granny. What I did, didn't think of is that there's no kind of residence on this farm for the for the farmers. So I think we'll have to fix that. They need a house to be able to live live their lives. What's that? Is that oh, okay? I'll add a couple of those, why not? Let's see. Yeah, houses. Whoa. Not what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. So that will collide with the farm. Let's see, they would have a big beautiful house, wouldn't they? I think they would. I think they'd want it around here, maybe? Now, will that remove the field? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it would... no, it won't. So the farmers will live there. Yeah, good. So... Yeah, Granny's old apple trees can stay. Good. So it hit me that... Uh, kind of factories like this, and... the docks, and, and also this, this farm would... kind of... Would make people want to live close to their jobs. So there should be residents around here, I think. Some suburbs and neighborhoods. Uh, first of all, there's way too many rocks here. Oh, go away. Go away, rocks. Mm -hmm. So. This is a steel factory, and yeah, residence. I want a residential street here. Let's see, let's do this properly. That's not what I want. So I do think we want to do this. Yeah, good. So you will live there. You will live. There, and we'll have this house right there. Mm, yes, this will be the management living here, close to the factory itself. Let's have one more, a small one. No, a big one. This looks odd. This looks odd. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh no no. Let's do it properly. Yeah, this will be the one. Let's see. Oh, don't do that. Hmm. This behaves weird. Yeah, I don't think that will work. Let's see if we can trick it to do what we want by doing this. And this. What is your problem? There we go. Good. And then if we upgrade it, will that work? 
Kind of spawns cars there. Yeah, it would work, but it's still on the wrong side, so... <laughs> Let's drop that. Or we can have it there and there and yeah. All the way down. Has to look fancy. And then we can add this. Maybe. Yeah, let's do it man manually. If it let us, it won't. All right then, have it your way. Oh yeah, looking fancy. That's what we want. And here as well, please. I don't want the trucks driving through here, but we'll fix that after this. Yeah. And here as well. Oh. By the way, guys, there was no episode last week. That was because I was well, kind of busy doing life stuff and also working on the Atlantis uh, build that went live this past Friday. I hope you liked it because that was a lot of work and the rendering of the cinematic shots at the end there took about a day. Nah, not a day but felt like a day. Uh, yeah, each one of those renders took about an hour. That was just rendering it, getting the camera to move exactly how I wanted it to. It took quite a lot of fiddling as well. And yeah, I had 16 and a half hours of footage before the in-game uh, uh, cinematics. So just the time lapses and the building uh, uh, part, or, or the yeah, the time lapses with both the city growing and the building. That's 16 and a half hour. And yeah, <laughs> a lot of editing went into that as well to try to compress it down to, what was it, 37 minutes or something? Uh, which three is the most fancy looking? Let's go with that. Oh, before we do that, we have one to cut the grass, don't we? Yes, the residents here, th I think, I think they agree. Uh, let's see, grass cutted, cutted grass, go ahead. Yeah, that's better. All the way around here, we want cutted, cutted grass. There we go, and here as well. Yeah, they have gardeners and people tending to these fields. Let's f make it smooth. And we want that here as well, yeah. So yeah, if you haven't seen the Atlantis film, I'll post a car in the upper upper right corner now, up here. So go watch it and come back after. And please leave a like uh, or and a comment on that film. It really took a, lo a lot of work, as I said, and my girlfriend gets really upset with me for spending so much time on making a video. So please give me some results to show her. Help. All right. Yeah, this turned out cool. Nice. So this is a hazard for the kids. We don't want them to run down on the train tracks, so... Yeah, so we want... This, maybe? I want some... Thing that looks worn. 
Or no, it's this one will do. <sighs> yeah, we only need one side because yeah, there's no houses on the other side. Then we need fencing. We need some really hardcore fencing. There's a turkey here, apparently. So there, there's a random turkey sound. Blah, blah, blah. Plays every now and then in this game. I find it kind of hilarious. Here we go. Yeah, the kids won't be able to access this. Good. And we need some trees here to kind of shelter the buildings from the noise. So let's add the same as these. No. Oh, there it was again, the turkey. Yeah, some big trees to shield the families from the noise of the trains. Here we go, and some small some of these here. Here we go. Forever doomed to be in the shadow until I change the mods. So, I want a playground here. Uh, is it park as it's? I think. Do we have a playground? I don't think we do. No. Uh, maybe here? What's this? It says swing, but that is the grown-up swing. The lover swing. TP. TPs. Well, the kids would enjoy this, I think, but... Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. I don't have playgrounds, uh, playground assets. Let's just add a park then. Yeah, let's do the dirt, dirt path here. Strength, yeah. So let's just have a gathering point in the middle here where they can barbecue and play games, drink wine. Is a class people, and we'll have a path into the trees as well. Yeah, good. So we'll do the grown-up swing. swing, 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 swing. Where swing? There it is. Oh, it was smaller than I thought it would be. No, this is bigger. Good. Pattern do we want? We want a big one. Oh yeah, this one. This is really big. There. Cool. This, this table looks good. These maybe. Or these. Yeah, let's do these. And we'll have a bench there. Yeah. Add a tree. Uh, is that too big? Maybe it's a bit too big. Yeah, let's go for the, Go with that. There we go. And we want hedges. Yes, it needs to look fancy. These hedges is the ones I want, but they kind of look. They look repeated. But fast. But now that's okay. That's okay. How does that look? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. So, will it let me delete it? 
is out, removing all everything else. Yes. No wrecking scenes here. In Transport Fever 2. So they're so big. They're so they're really big. I don't want that. I don't want that. Go away. Do not touch my swing or the trees, please. Yes. Okay. So. Instead, let us have this. This. Yeah, this. Yeah, I have a plan now. Have it parallel. Yeah. And then we'll add shrubbery. Strawberry. What's the difference here? I don't know. So, the reason I don't want. Uh, I don't like using these too much, is that they paint the ground as well. I wish they would have paint ground yes or no. Because, yeah, I want these beautiful bushes, but uh, I want the grass to be green underneath. Like, there's no reason for them to paint that much. Maybe a small circle, just where the roots or the bush enter the, enter the ground. Would make sense, but yeah, this is too much. But anyways, it look, looks good. <laughs> this is probably the only time we're gonna zoom in on it. Either way, so yeah. Let's just add some trees and then we'll be done here. Apple trees, I think. Yeah, I think they would have apple trees here. Well, is there a difference on those? No. I like this. There we go. So the rich people will have some place to live now. That's good. And the workers, they will have place. Maybe closer to the, yeah. Yeah, actually. Closer to the factory makes sense because they want, they'll have to live in the noise and the pollution. They will be living in. Let's use these. They will live in maybe small, yeah, small cottage, cottage, cottages. Yeah, something like this. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? So we got the road here. Parking here and houses. Yes, I really. I really wanted four in there, so I got my will. Bent to my will game. Sorry. Let's cut the grass because even though they are workers, the management wants 
the image of the factory company to look to be good so yeah they'll do some maintenance for their workers workers no doubt about that so this will be replaced when the factory levels up but let's just cut the grass anyways yeah good and now cars have started showing up so it'll be a bit easier to kind of sell the idea that there will be cars here and I think this one fits well I just wish there were several colors of it but it's not so yeah yeah let's have this one as well there cool 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 let's not uh, do too much there all right so we have some signs of life here that's good that's what i want so let's build passenger lines we are going to hayward's heath so we already have our track ready here uh, we have steel factory here which we are not going to use so i think i'll just remove that so we are crossing the river here but there's no need to no no reason for boats to be able to cross but yeah let's bridge it anyways so my thinking is that this tur is turning out into a quite busy main line and it's gonna loop and have traffic both directions so do we want to double track it or do we not i don't think we do actually so let's just have one across and we'll merge in the turn as we usually do that's a perfect merging point yeah good let's have basic signals there yeah this was that was a bit too close don't want them to clip into each other all right let's go to Hayward's Heath so it looks kind of flat but we are not going in the right direction so residential looks like I'll be there yeah I thinking I'm thinking here maybe yeah let's just do that Close. 1905 so yeah we're still we're still on this one let's use the large one so that we can have some growth between the tracks and the roads yeah good we are going in this direction I think uh, does that look that looks quite good Yeah, we do want two tracks here though, so let's add that. And passengers, is that these ones? Yes, it is. But is it the right length? I didn't check. 240. 240 is the one we use. 240. Let's go. Bam. And I forgot to add the tra second track again. Yeah, there we go. So let's just merge those right away and have the tracks exit the city so that it doesn't build there okay so we want buildings on both sides so that it kind of encourages uh, growth on both sides let's have a medium sized building there yeah like so uh city streets and this medium one yeah there we go so uh let's think bridges now what's the best way to do this here maybe uh, so where is the bridge pillar collision is this one i think it is why Stop it with the pillar collision. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's so it insists on having trees there. Great. <laughs> we'll have to dip the road down just to avoid the trees sticking through the bridge. All right, whatever. And the track is raised here, so I'm thinking a tunnel maybe. Could that work? It will do it, but it's kind of steep. How does that look? <laughs> kind of cool, actually. I don't think this uh, these pebbles would stay. They'd have to be molded into place. But that is really steep. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. There we go. That is good enough. So, and if we fly, smooth it out. Yeah, good. So we have connections. Yeah. There, and that is ugly. I think we can work with that. Alright, that will do for now. So, we need signals here. Yeah, like so. And we'll just, uh, well, let's see here. The problem now becomes finding the middle point. So this was was the middle point until this extension. So it's coming from here, there, and there. Goes there, there, and there. I wish I could zoom up even more. It has to be around here, right? And it is kind of signaled up here already. So yeah, they will have plenty of opportunities to meet there. So I don't think we have to do anything. To be completely honest, I might be wrong, but time will tell. Time will tell. So there we go. Perfect. Here comes our first train to the new station. And we already have people waiting here. Yeah. Good. Now I was thinking I need to check yeah, so the frequency is 11 minutes, and yeah, that's not too bad, but yeah, we can afford another train on this, so why not? Let's just add one more. Uh, where will it spawn from? I don't know. Yeah, here maybe. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful new shining locomotive, let's go. Here's the banana train. How are you doing? Not too good. Making money, though. So that is good. All right, so we have extended the passenger line. A lot of people waiting here, so yeah, hurry up train. Let's check out on our lines here. So our big losers are, yeah, actually the new one. We got a new model loco, that's cool. Let's check that out in a bit. Oh, so we don't have any line losing money at this very moment. So let's check out our big winners. This uh, oil uh, thing here is making a lot of money. The passenger, passenger line actually. And the uh, good old cargo line, cargo bread uh, food line. Yeah, making money. This other oil train making a lot. Yeah, so basically all of the train lines are making a, quite a good amount, amount of money. Uh, yeah, this passenger one also just jumped from the bottom of the chart to top 10. That's good. So yeah, I'll say this is quite good. Uh, we have one red number now. It's like $5 or $5,000, $6,000. That is n nothing. So... We're doing all right. We are doing all right. So, 
Let's check you out. You have lumber now waiting for you. That's good. Do you have machines? Yes, quite a lot, actually. What do you think? Also, here comes cars spawning from this these houses. That's really cool. So yeah, that means we could have some bus lines out here eventually when, when we build up more res residential areas here. Oh yeah, good. Good, good. Have you brought lumber already? I suppose you have. Let's check you. Yes, it does have 54 lumber on its way back. I think that will see in a bump in the, in the income from that train. And we have 33 machines waiting. Good, that that whole thing is uh, starting to function as I want it to. Let's check out on our hub trains here. Yeah. So, the uh, previously mentioned uh, Atlantis film has inspired me to uh, do some more wat water things on this map. So what I think is that I want Stanley to kind of uh, stay there, but I want to ex to make this uh, this river a fjord instead, going all the way up here to s and descending. And I want this part of sending to be kind of something like New York. Yeah, like New York, yeah, <laughs> when I look at it like this. We would have Manhattan here and yeah, or maybe not. I don't know that city too well. So yeah, uh, expand this to a fjord, bring it up all the way up here and kind of uh, connect it to this fjord, fjord here. So there's no river here at all. Uh, this river, uh, yeah, so this peninsula, I think, will be a real peninsula because then it'll be kind of divided between these two fjords and the big one and the rivers will we will just have one river that will be this one going up here i think that will be cool and uh, yeah we can about afford it i think i haven't tried so that's just a guess but i won't do that this episode we'll save that for one of the next ones uh let's see well what was my plan again We've done the passenger thing, we've done the countryside, well, and we started on this countryside. There's gonna be a lot more stuff going on there. And imagine doing things like this over the whole map. I want to do that, but it, ugh, I get a headache just thinking about how much detailing that would be. Now the go-to excuse to avoid building is to make a forest. But the game can only handle a certain amount of trees as well because before it slows down. Yeah, this forest up here. Yeah, make it dense. Make it dense and here as well. Yeah, I was planning to do this when I first when I was building here. But I forgot, I forgot. Here we go, dense forest. Yeah, I really like this. This looks cool. Yeah, it does. As a matter of fact, I think I'll grab a screenshot right now. My thumbnail. Yeah, that's that done. All right, I think I'll wrap it up there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I spent so many hours on the Atlantis film lately, so I'm kind of worn out. Need to regroup and uh, plan ahead for the next episode. So yeah, let's cut it there. Uh, let's find a good angle to watch our trains. So yeah, we're in Hayward's Heath, uh, as you can see on the signs here on the station. We are waiting for the train to take us inland and towards Sending, where we are gonna go shopping. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode and um, yeah, leave me a like and a comment. Leave me a like and a comment and subscribe please if you like the content. Uh, it really helps uh, me show my 
girlfriend results so that I can spend more time with this without getting yelled at. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.